What we've got here is a brick seal, a seal brick. It's just it's basically a feature brick, and they sit on the wall like so. You want them flush to the back of your, flush to the back of your brick here, right? Which is what will give you your um, measurement for there. Uh, what I like to do first, Tom's already done it. Give the wall a brush. Right, I'll stick my tape across here like this. Because I'm coming from left to right, you want to start at this end and gauge from this way. What you don't want to do is go the other way round and stick to your marks and then realise that you was, had to tighten up 10, 20 mil or something. Let me jump in there, Tom. So we'll go mark our gauge through. So 1575, 150. And then I don't need to bother that. Just a little check. There to there, I've got 170, so we've got to open up a touch. Then what I'll do is because these don't take any moisture and you need a, what's this muck like? Right, so because of how the muck is, I'll lay this whole bed through first. Won't need to watch this video now, later now, will we, Tom? Still will, though. <laughs> yeah. So we want to lay one down this end first. So obviously when you're going to perp these up, you'll do the whole thing. But some's going to be on show here. Now, it doesn't really matter if you get muck on it because it comes off really easy anyway. But you really, so you, you, you're not doing too much there. And then you're, you're going to try to get roughly where you think it's going to sit, it's like that. And then you've got your pencil mark underneath and you stick to that. And then you come straight on and you're looking at this to be, you can use your eye as a level across here. Then you want to check round the back and make sure you're flush with the back, like that. Uh, and at the top as well, all right. Usually we have uh, formers going across here and it holds them in place a bit easier, but they didn't have the formers for this one. So anyway, right, we've got that one in place. Now we're gonna get this, this one over here in place. Have a look around the back first, get it somewhere over here. Right, so. Nice. On a tight-ish bed, otherwise it's just one going to roll everywhere. Right, now we've got them in place. You get the lines set up. Which is, usually, obviously, you put your lines in um, about there, like that, so you go into the work. But obviously, you want a line across the front here. So what you do, pass my hammer, please, Tom is you go probably about halfway through the pin and you'll just eye to where this point is, which is about there. Drop the pin, bang it in roughly and take it down the other end. Right, so we're going about the middle there. This side's a bit easier now because that's being held in place. So I want to be a bit further than that actually, about there. So now I can keep that tight. We want to bang that in the wall. And we want to be just a couple of mil back from this point. And I can see that I just need to go that way a touch. And then I can tap that down just a touch to that line. And then we can oh, go a bit further up like that. Did you want to just set yourself up over there, Tom, and have a go? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, there, yeah, right. So when you're perping these up, there are a few ways. You can either get a lot of muck, right? And so you've got to remember how you're putting it in the wall, yeah? You're putting it in like that, so you want to be holding it like that. You don't want to be 
holding it like the other way round, like and perp like that side, uh, that that side. I fucking lost myself. Right, so I personally, what you want to try and do is make sure that you don't get any on the face. Is just go like that. One, two, three, four, down the back, like that, and that weren't too bad. And then we're just going to go in place. All right. Now, to make sure, what you want to make sure is when you're tapping it down, you don't want to be tapping it down at the front because it's just going to tip. Right. So you need to. I personally put my finger at the back. Right. So I can feel that that's flush. Right. And then I will tap down like that. Right. Yeah. So that's basically where it needs to be. Yeah. All right. Usually we have uh, our former across here. Yeah. Yeah. So you just put your top bit to your former, which is going to make it a little bit harder, but. So you don't want to put it across and down because you'll smudge your face. You want to come down to about the same level and push it in against. Yeah. yeah. Right, and then if you tap it down, if you look across this way, you'll, you, you can see if it's level that way. Yeah. And you can see if it's jolt tipping up at the back or tipping down. And then just check your front, all right? And just make sure that this point here and this point here is touching your line, yeah? And you ain't going to be far wrong. So just check the, check this with your eye. Yeah, that, that looks uh, level. And then come to the front. Just come down to eye level because you, you can see it better when you're at eye level. Yeah. And just check that this point of this brick and this point of this brick is to that line. Yeah. And then you should be good. All right, I'll race you. <laughs> Sorry? Yeah. Well, I'm going to get these in. So, look, I'm bang on in line with that, that gauge mark with this brick. So I know that I need to be the whole way through 10 mil back from that line and then it will fit in. So we're going in, buy it so it's level across this way. Usually you'd have your window form in here so you wouldn't even need to do what I'm doing now. And then you're just coming down to the front, make sure these two points are in. Make sure you've got it the right way around. holding this brick in place because because it because the muck's a little bit wet because of how it is of silos it's a little bit awkward stuff is so sticky you always having to bang it off if you want to mind whack and fuck out of the board
so we've got the last one in the key brick so I, personally what I like to do is scrape the inside I do like to put some muck on here not too much because it just goes all over the face so it's literally just, I'm just going to scrape across there like that scrape across there like that you want it to be flat so when you slide it in and then what I'll do is I'll fill it with my pointing trowel so we're all through there nice it's too wet to join this is something I'll have to come back to in about an hour or so Uh, and then just look through, just try and see if anything don't look quite right. It's always best to stand back and look at it with your eye. I've just spotted this one looks a little bit high. As soon as you take the line away, you'll spot that. And this one a little bit. That one needs to come up a touch. And apart from that, I think we're good. Uh, if you cut across the bottom, and then cut across, and then press in with your bed, they should hold in place with the blocks on top. So that's how you get your seal bricks on. No, she's stressed out. She says oh, she's never doing it again. The school run. Right, so you only want a little bit. And if you, instead of standing over like that, if you actually look to the side and look where you're putting it in, silo muck and it is very very wet sticky you can't be waiting hours for it to dry off in this weather so you just get the most of it in I can get all the smudges off of the sponge anyway so it's not a problem so the first way you want to go is just stick your finger under there like that yep. just go all the way through like that And then what I do, usually going in the end in the way, but I'll just go up like that. And then I personally just use my finger just to go in there like that and round there like that. Alright. All right. It's a bit awkward to get you. What you do in the top here? Just normal. Just, just if it's if you ain't got any mark in it, just put a little bit in there. Yeah. It's best to see I, I personally think yeah, I do that. just using your finger like that. And that's it, done. And there it is. I use a sponge just to give it a little clean up. Sponge does a good job. Um, yeah, and there you have it. I'll get that finished up.